The tugboat, for its size, is the most powerful craft afloat. And the star tugs are the power behind the docks and waterways that make up the big city port. This is Tugs. at sea, Tencent and Sunshine spotted a tug they'd never seen before. His name was Boomer. He was just drifting. Realizing he could be in trouble, they approached him cautiously. His engine was stopped, maybe even broken down. A tow line drooped in the water and his rigging was scrappy. No flag flapped in the breeze. It seemed that no one owned him. Keep away. Just leave me alone, please. We can't. You're drifting in busy sea lines. That's dangerous. Even better. Uh, we'll have to take you in. Just leave me be. I don't want any help. What? Why not? Because, well, because I'm a jinx. I'm black luck. Nobody wants a jinx. Oh, rubbish. There's no such thing as a jinx. There is, and I'm it. Stand off me. Look, jinx or not, we have to take you in. Shipping lanes have to be kept clear. Aye. Captain Style will do something. No, he won't. Nobody can. Jinxes just happen. I just shouldn't have been a tug. Uh, have you always been like this? My name used to be Captain Harry. That was good then in those days. Then I was sold. They painted out my name and called me Boomer. Ever since then, nothing but trouble. Boomer was right. Ten cents had set off ahead, when to everyone's amazement, the tow rope unwound and fell into the sea. Ten cents, your tow rope is loose. How did that happen? Or did you do that? Can't have, can I? It's you that's lost the tow. The rope's still attached to me. Aye, he's right, Ten cents. That's the first sign of a jinx I've ever seen. Yeah, well, it won't happen again. Look, come on. The sooner we get into Captain Star, the better. Who's he, Tencent? He's Boomer. We found him drifting out in the estuary. Well, what's up? Well, he says he says his engine's not working. He'll be all right now, son. I see. Sunshine, go pick up the coal barge and we'll try starting him up. Yes, sir. Later, when Tencent and Sunshine had restoked Boomer and got a good head of steam, the big moment arrived. Okay, Boomer, try your engine now. Yay! Well done, my son. Ah, oh, no. You see now? <laughs> pull him out! Pull him out! Aye, aye, sir. It was good for Ten Cents that he still had a line on Boomer. With smoke billowing everywhere, it would have been difficult and dangerous to get too close. He pulled him clear of the dock, and strangely, as soon as he was clear, the smoke stopped completely. Well, look at that. The fire's just disappeared. I told you, Sunshine. Jinxed. Hey, what the? That's never happened before, has it? Uh, no. Ooh. Oh dear. Boomer, I think... Ten I'm... cents! Take that tug to Lucky's yard, right this minute! Understand? Right, sir. <laughs> Here, I think Boomer's taking on water. Hey, Boomer, what's so funny? <laughs> I'm sinking. Just what I wanted. What? Look, we're going to make it to Lucky's even if I sink with you. Cut free, cut free. I'm sinking. Save yourselves. Huh? Oh, well, that's Lucky. He's come to rest on that old garbage barge that sank a few weeks ago. Look, two of you stay here. I'll go and get a rescue crane. Hey, maybe the jinx has stopped now, eh? <laughs> You're still afloat. No, it hasn't. It's still here, all right. 
I want it to sink, but instead I land right on top of an obstacle that doesn't let me. All I want to do is sink and become a home for the fishes. Then I won't jinx anyone. Mm. Mighty Mo, the floating crane, had found the task difficult. Troublesome things had been happening during the afternoon. Tencent had collected a large barge in which Boomer was to be placed once he was high enough out of the water. Right, there's the barge. Now for the difficult part. We just have to hold it steady. Steady she is. Be sure to get that barge under Boomer as soon as you can. He's heavy, and I don't want to hold on to him too long. He's coming up. Pull, fellas. Full steam. You'll be okay now, Boomer. Yeah, come on, Boomer. Mules is jammed. You'll have to take the barge and we'll travel like this. <laughs> Just what I thought would happen. Oh, another jinx. Don't be silly, Sunshine. Move that barge somewhere and go tell Captain Star. We'll have to try to tow this lock to Lucky's yard before it gets dark. Oh, you reckon we will? Yeah. If we don't get jinxed before we get there. I hope you haven't spoken to Lucky's yard was ready for them. It was brightly lit up as they approached. Big Mac and OJ were also there to take the cranes away, and ahead of them was a raft construction ready to take Boomer. Be careful now. You'll have to guide the cranes so they can lower the tug onto that raft. Right. I'll take most of the tow, Sunshine. Just keep it straight, okay? As they made their way, Zip and Zug passed by. Christmas come early this year, has it? Just what Captain Star wanted. Another dud tug. Right, I see it, OJ. Right, it's up ahead, Sunshine. Aye, aye. Steady as she goes. Hey! What's going on? What's he doing? Get your all nights under that red quick. I'm trying to, man. That's it! Ah, good. It's alright. I've got it again, Big Mac. Straight ahead. Oi! Oi, don't push! I'm to stern! What are you doing? What? Ah. What's going on? Ah! Oi! Flying barge! Oh! Ah! Hey, watch out! Hold tight! Whoa! Help! Sunshine! The next morning revealed the true extent of the damage. Both Ten Cents and Sunshine were beached on Lucky's mud bank. The wooden raft had been disintegrated by Mighty Mo, and poor Boomer was laying sideways, partially submerged. It took many hours to sort things out and clean up the mess. Thankfully, no serious damage was done to the tugs. Boomer was repaired, and some days later, I was giving my daily briefing at the Star Dock. Right, Starfleet, the Duchess will be arriving later today. As usual, we will bring her into dock. But before I tell you who's doing what, you may have noticed that Boomer is not here today. Had we? <laughs> I hadn't noticed. Quiet, Top Hat, or I'll see to it that you carry on Boomer's duties. <laughs> As long as he wasn't on garbage detail, that'll be fine by me. Speaking of Boomer, the reason he's not here is because I've lent him to Captain Zero. And you may like to know that the reason Boomer sank was that his stopcocks were left open. But that's impossible, isn't it? Impossible it may seem, but fact proves the point, Ten Cents. And something else, there was nothing wrong with his engine. In fact, it's a very good engine. That's why Captain Zero's borrowed Boomer for a while. He might even buy it from me. What? So what I should be saying, Ten Cents Sunshine, is well done. You've both earned a bonus. Oh, thank you, sir. Now get your stack stoked and get out there and do some work. The rest of you, stay here. I still need to assign your jobs. Hey. Maybe we'll be on the side push, Top Hat. Now that I can do. Hmm, if Boomer's right, we might not see that bonus sunshine. Captain Zero had the naval munitions contract. 
Zip, Zug, and Boomer had been to collect a loaded ammunition barge from upriver. All had gone well until they were halfway across the estuary. Good luck, Boomer! No sooner had Ten Cents tooted his greeting when the ammunition barge exploded, much to the Zed Stack's bewilderment. Hey, you all right, Zug? Sure, if you like getting blown up. See? You can't get rid of a jinx that easily, Ten Cents. Aye. That was enough for Captain Zero. He got rid of the unhappy Boomer. Boomer! I do not expect slippers from my Zed Stacks! Ammunition barges do not come cheap, and blowing them up is something I cannot allow! Boomer, you're a floating disaster! Get out of my sight! See ya, Boomer! So long, ya bad luck tug. Yeah, see ya. If you need any help sinking, let us know. Well, so long, fellas. It was fun while it lasted. I wasted no time at all in passing him off to San Juan's Banana Ripening Company, where I was sure nothing could go wrong. <laughs> How wrong I was. Ay ay ay! Oh dear. Izzy, look, look out! out! I'll give you a toy if you want. Hey, it's that silly green goes for He pay. So Boomer was returned to me with a bill for repairs to the damaged pier. Later that day, Sunshine took Ten Cents aside. I've just been thinking. Yeah? Thinking what? I've just been thinking that you might jinx Boomer. No, I don't. Yeah, do. How? Look. Every time he's been working and we've gone past, you've sounded your hooter. So, it's called being friendly. Not if it causes an accident, and it always does. Just think, the ammunition barge, Mighty Moor, the rope, Izzy, the engine. But, but that's coincidence, not jinx. Call it anything you like, but it seems to coincidence Boomer when you do it. Yeah? Well, I'm going to speak to Boomer about it. Look, you're coming. They found Boomer in the middle of the harbour. He had an attachment on his aft and was moored to a buoy. Hey Boomer, what are you doing here? Captain Star made me into a standboy foghorn. Said the name fitted the job. <laughs> well, we think we might have solved the problem and we want to try something. Go on, Ten Cents. Do it. Blow twice. Yeah, well that was a stupid exercise, Sunshine. No, it wasn't ten cents. Oh, oh, oh. I don't believe it. <laughs> You'd better get another one fast. I've had just about enough. Boomer was relieved from his post as standby foghorn. When he wasn't there, the fog came down over Big City Port. So after the briefing, I made the three tugs stay behind. Right, Switches, we can show Boomer where the schooner is. We have a contract to tow her out to sea. I reckon Boomer can do that, seeing as there's no engines to break down, to catch fire, no crane horses to snap, no ammunition to explode, no piers to damage or boys to sink. Just plain sail. And if Boomer breaks down, then the sail can more likely pull him. Very droll, sir. Very droll. Look, come on. Before he changes his mind. Okay. But don't toot. They escorted Boomer to the old wharf, <laughs> without anything going wrong. Good luck, Boomer! No such thing. Oh, there is. But it's recognising it that's difficult. Oh, don't sound your hooter. Maybe that'll help me recognise something. <laughs> He's just got to be okay this time. Nothing can go wrong now, surely. Yeah, well, let's hope so. Yeah, well, let's hope so. Anyway, if it does, it's nothing to do with me. I'm staying right here in the harbour. I've got to admit, for ten cents, it is a bit mysterious. All this jinx stuff, things going wrong and that. Yeah. Well, Scuttlebutt Pete told me that the captain's gonna dump him. And Scuttlebutt knows pretty much everything. I hope we see him again, for ten cents. I like him. Captain knows best, Sunshine. He always knows best. Remember that. Hey, 
what's up? Some dumb tug set a schooner at light. Aye, that could only be Boomer. I'm afraid he'll be for it if it is. <laughs> dear, oh dear me. Boomer! Hey, what's happened? Lightning. That's what happened. But that fire object didn't believe me. He thought I was going too fast and a spark flew out of my stack. But it's not true. Gah. Anyway, I can't be bothered to argue anymore. You must have done something. I did nothing. Lightning? Well, it's possible, I suppose. But on such a nice day as this, never would have happened in my day, I can tell you. Anything's possible with Boomer. <laughs> he really is jinxed. It's not that. Not jinxed. It's just that he doesn't have any luck. Scuttlebutt Pete was as good as his word. After the schooner incident, I decided that there was only one thing for it. I had Sunshine take Boomer to Lucky's yard, with strict instructions that he was never to be used as a tug ever again, no matter what. Bye, Boomer. I'm really gonna miss you. I'll miss you too, Sunshine. But I guess it's better this way. So it was a surprise to Ten Cents and Sunshine when, a few weeks later, I ordered them to pick up Boomer and take him upriver. Why wouldn't he tell us why? Yeah, well we'll find out when we get there. I've been dreading what's going to happen to him. Yeah, I don't like the sound of upriver. There's a ship's graveyard there, full of rusting hulks, you know that. Ten Cents and Sunshine were expecting the worst. I had said that Boomer was never to be used as a tug again, and that's exactly how it was. When they arrived at the yard, Boomer the tug was nowhere to be seen. What they did see made them gasp in astonishment. Moored by the pier was a strange-looking floating house. Top of the morning, ten cents. Morning, sunshine. Is that really you, Boomer? Indeed it is. Wow. <laughs> a houseboat. But don't you feel sorta... Of, sorta of silly? Not one bit. Not at all. It's what I've always wanted to be. Now hurry up, you two. I want to get up river to my new mooring. It's where my new owners want me. They said they had big plans in store. When they found it, it was a tree-lined bank, and it was clearly marked, Done Tugging. My, my. Home sweet home at last. Or oh, you'll like it here. Lots of nice trees to keep you cool in the summer. It's all I've ever wanted. Thank you both. I'm sorry if I've got you into trouble. Ah, oh, that's alright. Well, let's hope that the jinx left ya. It's what it did to others that's worried me the most. Well, time to go. Uh, we'll come visit you sometime, eh? Thanks. Thanks, both of you. Thanks for everything. <coughs> oh, you shouldn't have done that! Oh, I'm sorry! Oh no! The jinx! <laughs> no, it's gone! It's over! That proves it! If I was still jinxed, the tree would have crashed down on me. Or one of you two, more likely. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, great. See you soon. Bye. Bye. Look after yourselves. Yeah, see ya, Boomer. Take care. For ten cents and sunshine, it was back to work as usual. But for Boomer, well, he'd found his ideal place in the world. <laughs> And he was very happy there, because the jinx had gone. <laughs> <laughs>